Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the program flow functionality in Access to create macros that run only when specified conditions have been met or which perform advanced types of macro functions. The program flow functions replace many of the older features of macros found in versions of Access before 2010, such as the conditions column, macro names, and comments. In this lesson, we will examine how you can use the program flow functions to create advanced macros. You can use the group function to create collapsible and expandable groupings of named macro actions within a larger macro. This lets you create a larger macro with different named sections within it. To do this, click and drag the group function into the macro design window from the action catalog and then type a name for the group into the group field. Then add the actions to the named group as you normally would. You can have several groups within a single macro. The groups within a macro cannot be executed or run individually. They are simply used to organize the actions within longer macros. You can use the IF function to create conditional macros that only execute if a given scenario evaluates to a logical true value. To add an IF function to a macro, click and drag the IF function into the macro design window from the action catalog, and then enter the expression to evaluate into the IF field. If you want assistance correctly entering the expression to evaluate, click the Expression Builder button shown at the right end of the IF field. This will open a separate Expression Builder window where you can add references to database objects and also enter values to be evaluated. When you are finished creating the expression to evaluate, click the OK button to add it to the IF function. Then use the Add New Action drop-down to choose the action to take if the specified expression returns a true value. If you then wish to add an else condition to the if statement, click either the add else or add else if hyperlinks within the if statement. Clicking the add else hyperlink will add an else statement to your if statement that lets you specify an action to take if your expression returns a logical false value. Clicking the add else if hyperlink lets you evaluate another expression if the first expression evaluates to a false value. This lets you evaluate many expressions and return a unique action based on multiple possible values. To use the comment function, click and drag the comment from the action catalog and drop it into the desired line within a macro to add a non-executable line of text to your macro. Simply type the text you want to have appear within the text box. When you exit the text box, Access will convert the text into a non-executing comment within your macro. If you add the comment into the wrong place, note that you can click the Move Up or move down arrows shown at the right end of the comment line when you hold your mouse pointer over it to move the comment up or down through the line of actions. You can also delete a comment by clicking the small delete button which looks like a small X in that same area. You can use the sub macro function to add a sub macro within a macro that can only be called by either the on error or run macro macro functions. Sub-macros must always be the last actions within a macro if used. To use the sub-macro function, click and drag the sub-macro function into the macro design window from the action catalog, and then type a name for the sub-macro into the sub-macro field. Then add the actions to the sub-macro as you normally would. You can then set the reference to the sub-macro either by using the property event pane or by using the run macro or on error actions within a macro. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com 
forward slash free.